back again and uh, I've completed the upgrade. Those, uh, I don't know if that's focusing right. Those six chips were the chips that were changed from 32K each to 128K. And these two right there next to the firmware chip. These are the old chips, four, I'm sorry, six. And then the other two, so a total of eight. <clears throat> and the sorter actually worked pretty good. I'm gonna do a separate video. I know I, uh, you know, talking about that, I'll, I'll show the sorter joints a little better. I use the Amtec and I use the SRA um, Tacky Pay sorter. And um, they were pretty similar. Although I think I have a bias towards the Amtec. But I'm gonna think about it and I'll show the joints a little bit better some other time. But the point is this thing works now. The 1M option, I was correct. So I'm gonna demonstrate that. So uh, it's all hooked up. I have a fan blowing on all of the heat sinks here. So we're gonna power it up. Here we go. And watch the power up sequence. All right, and here everything passed very quickly, horizontal, record length, though I actually had it on the faster record length, I mean the longer record length, that's 500. 10 divisions, and here's the M1 option, 50,000 in 1,000 divisions, and you can see it works, okay, so um, anyway, that's it for this video, any questions, leave them in the comments, <coughs> and uh, next one, I'll have a short discussion about the, uh, the solder flux. Thank you all. Bye.